We saw some news this week with the Broncos sacking coach Kevin Walters. Uh, there was a lot of discussion about this in, in the lead up. Many people had the thought process <coughs> that maybe he was uh, going to be given the first few weeks of next year. Webby, were you surprised when it happened so quickly? I think everyone was surprised that it happened so quickly. But if you talk to people at the Broncos, like I have in the last uh, few days, it seems like they had no choice. Um, that's no disrespect to Kevin, but they felt like a, a change had to happen. Um, I think <laughs> I'll be surprised. I think things have moved really quickly. I'll be surprised if Michael Maguire isn't named coach in a matter of days. He's a dollar I won. Mm. He'll get the job. Yeah. Well, I think it's. I think, and I. To be honest, I know there's been a lot of pushback from former Broncos players about you know a New South Wales coach coming up there. I. I think it's the right move. To be honest, I don't think there's anyone else well, they better to, to to go into that role. They win six in a row next year. Do you reckon they care if? Madges no, 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 no. I don't think that would matter one bit. Uh, well, the Broncos captain, Adam Reynolds, has just spoken to Nine News this morning. So let's take you right there now. Um, yeah, still coming to terms with it. Um, sort of caught us off by guard. Um, we didn't understand at the time why or anything had been done like that. Was there a player revolt? No, I don't think so. Um, look, a lot of boys respect Kev and, and love Kev. He, he's very passionate and he wants to win. Um, you know, he's got the same mindset of a lot of us uh, in the team there and obviously obviously, we didn't get the, the results that we needed this year. But you didn't get the sense that he'd lost the dressing room, that wasn't the case? No, not at all. Um, you know, by the reaction of the players, talking to them, um, you know, everyone's devastated, everyone's feeling for Kev and um, I've had that conversation with Dave and, um, you know, he apologised to the group in obviously not letting us know before it did get out. and. Um, yeah, it's, it, it is pretty disappointing though. There's a lot of players, including myself, that was not not happy at the time of um, when we heard the news. And obviously, it's it's pretty hard when you lose someone so close to you. Yeah, there you have Adam Reynolds there speaking about the fact that the players didn't know before it actually hit the press. Mm. Uh, n not exactly the the best way for it to be handled. Do you think? No, not ideal, is it? But you know, these things were always pretty messy. Uh, I think. The Broncos management had known for a while that there'd been some some issues there with um, with some of the standards being set, being set and standards being met. That review um, was quite enlightening. The thing that I got sort of told about what they weren't happy with was the fact that he um, that the younger players in that team hadn't really improved under Kevin Wal Walters this year, and that was a factor as well. So. Um, what do you do? Did they give him like the net first two months of next season and to try and coach his way out of it? And there's another written off season. So I know it's a hard decision, but it, uh, I think it was the right one. Gentlemen, do you agree that it was probably a good time to do it now so that the Broncos will have an uh, entire pre-season and no distractions when they are heading into season 2025? Well, obviously, they're taking all the emotion out of it because Kevy's a really very passionate Brisbane person, had all the support of the old boys. But at the end of the day, they've done a review. They do a review for a reason. And in that review, they've found that they didn't like the way the club was going. So it's better making the decision now than next year, mm. I believe. Yeah, it's, it's hard to talk about it without knowing the findings of the review. But looking at it from the perspective of what we see, now this time last year, Kevin Walters was preparing his team for a grand final. And they were that close to winning the grand final. That close. And 12 months later, uh, and there's been some things that have happened this year. They lost three really important players, Flegler, Farnworth and Capewell. Uh, didn't handle that overly well. And then there were some injuries to key personnel. I think Payne Haas, Adam Reynolds and Reese Walsh all only played half a season. That, that, that played a factor as well. So I, I think giving those situations, I think it's a really tough call on Kev. Um, that he doesn't get an opportunity to try and get the team back on track and, and get back in the finals and, and push for that premiership. So, but again, we haven't, we're not privileged to see what has been found in that review. Joey? Well, players aren't performing and the coach gets the sack. When the player's going to take some ownership of it. What about with Madge? He's got a contract with New South Wales, hasn't he? So I think those discussions with the New South Wales Rugby League are happening today or tomorrow about whether he can get out of it. Um, I think Paul Collin, the chairman, understood that this day was going to come. I don't think they expected it to happen so quickly. 
I think they'll let... coach the Broncos and New South no, Wales. No, I, I, I don't. Well. I don't think that, that. Can you imagine? <laughs> too big with a job. The, I don't think that'll but, happen. But also oh, too with the Queens, with the Queenslanders in. Well, it won't worry Madge. Madge has coached a big club in. In Sydney, um, the South Sydney Rabbitohs, and he's also coached New Zealand, or New Zealand, and he's not a New Zealander. So I don't think the fact that going up there will will worry Madge. He'll go up there and, and do the best job that he. I, I, so I think I think I think the job's there for him to take it. He has to actually decide whether he wants to. His family are, 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 are based in Sydney. His kids are at an important stage of school, um, but he's a career coach, so. Uh, you know, three games for New South Wales probably isn't going to cut it with him. So Given then who, is... comes in, oh, who comes in then for, for Madge for New South Wales? I don't South know. Wales? I asked that question today. They said well, they're nowhere near even thinking about it. Mm. Given this conversation's happening really quick after Kevin's been sacked, do you think this decision's been made before that one? You can't help but think that, can you? It seems to have happened so quickly. The fact, the fact that the, the rumor mill. The well, it depends if you believe the rumor well, mill. The rumor <laughs> mill says that they'll speak in weeks ago. So you know, it that's feels the rumor. It's it, it feels uh, like I don't know how you can sack a coach on a Friday and then you know all of a sudden it's going to happen by the middle of the next What's week. What's the like difference? It. The the Titans are coached by Des, New South Welshman. Mm. Cowboys are to, uh, coached by Todd Payne. Well, South Adam South Reynolds has been a. New South Wales yeah. halfback. What's the difference between the Broncos, the Cowboys and the Titans? I know it's the Broncos. The Broncos. <laughs> it's the Broncos. And th those old boys are very, very, very powerful in that in that organisation. Mm. Mm. You know? Um, but as someone sort of said to me today, they, were, they went after... Craig, I know Craig Bellamy had been an assistant coach there, but Belly Aches, a former New South Wales coach, and they tried to get him uh, pretty intensely a few years ago. So I, don't, I, don't, I just think the games... When the Broncos first came in in 1988, it was like... It was Queensland's team. There's four Queensland... Teams down. in Brisbane. That's right. So it's like, I, I, and the games progress so far that you know you just get the best coach that's available. Did and to be honest, interview? he's the best coach. Did you get interviewed? No interview. I love it how your name comes up all the I'm time. I'm getting and... interviewed now. <laughs> <laughs> you want the job? <laughs> this year, NRL on Nine is your one-stop shop for all footy. That's right, Freddie. Not about the highlights. Action seven days a week. Billy and Gus podcast. Get that on your drive on the way home. Immortal behaviour. Grab a seat on the couch for that, and of course, my favourite, Freddie and the Young. The best footy brains, the biggest games. Don't trust the algorithm, subscribe to NRL on 9 and get all your entertainment there.